Word, Aries. How be how it is. So we're going to get some information from your grandma today. Um, this isn't for people who had a toxic grandmother. This isn't for people who, you know, your grandmother was vile to you or mean or you guys aren't cool, right? Um, this is for people, obviously, whose grandmother is still alive. This is for people whose grandmother was good for them, good to them, love them, and she's already passed on to the upper realms, and she's watching over you. I'm just going to get some guidance from her, okay? So... We are cleansing all the decks of any and all negative energy. Only beings of the purest, widest lot may seal the Sarita and give me advice. Seal the Sarita now in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. Aho, and so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore let it be done all right what does aries grandma want to come through for aries about today Am I apologizing for my truth? What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse. Oh my gosh, you guys, my grandma used to paint lighthouses all the time. Like, that was her thing. She loved painting lighthouses. That's so cool. Thank you, Grandma. I love you. I love you, Grandma. She said, be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Courage is contagious. So you better let your light shine down. This little light of mine, well, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. Are you letting it shine, baby? Because your grandma wants you to. She says, do not apologize to anyone for whatever they want to judge you for. If they want to judge you for being a certain way or doing a certain thing, grandma says, F them. No. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't actually say the cuss word, okay, guys? But she's pretty much like, you know what? They don't know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Stick with it. You've got this, okay? So don't be apologizing for who you are. Your grandma's proud of you or what you're doing. You're changing lives daily, and just keep on keeping on. Okay, stand your ground. Take sh Take action now. And if you're not changing lives daily, that came out. So maybe you should be, you know. <laughs> 49, 54 may mean something. Okay, so this card brings a clear message, whether in pragmatic action or holding firm to your own principles, to your own opinions, whatever your situation, do not give way. This is not a time to back down. This is right. This time is right to hold your own and stand your ground. Yeah, what did I just say? Same card as the truth card. Oh, I don't know why I put that up. I should have put it over here. Yeah, stand your gown. Don't apologize for what you, your truth is. Stand your ground. Don't apologize. Your grandma says, keep going along the red road. Take action now. This is clear and unequivocal message that action on your part is needed now. Manifestation is not simply a process of visioning. 
in and dreaming about your desires when an opportunity is offered to you you must also take action pay attention to the signs and move forward fearlessly so if you've been waiting for some kind of confirmation or something here it is aries your grandma says now don't wait now take action now is what your grandma says okay she says it has everything to do with your dreams. It has everything to do with your vision. It has everything to do with your desires. But you have to take the action now or you'll lose the opportunity. And to pay attention to signs. Because you've been given signs, Aries. You've been given signs, your grandma says. And you're not paying attention. Or you're not listening or something like that. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I know she doesn't want you to apologize for your behavior. She wants you to keep doing what you're doing. Stay in your, stay in your ground. You don't have, you don't owe anybody an apology. Okay. And that, you know, you better let your light shine now. Light your lighthouses, 144. Okay. Um, may have something to do with a relationship. Got the relationship card at the bottom of the deck. It says, don't fear letting go of control. Trust. Well, it says, I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. So if you have trouble with control issues in a relationship, your grandma's saying, stop that. She's slapping your hand. She's like, you better stop that, Aries, right now. She says, your needs will be abundantly met. There is no need. She said, let go of control. Striving. Eventually, the individual ego's drive to make things happen falls away, replaced with a relaxed trusting openness to answers as they arise thank you divine for letting me move with the flow yeah grandma says move go with the flow she says don't try to plug up what you're being led to do if you're being led to do something she's like that's a sign from god move on it because you can lose this opportunity okay your grandma's like screaming at me right now for you to take action now don't wait don't apologize stand your ground stay in your truth and it has something to do with a relationship aries okay all right let's get some shadow cards so this says astonished and torment Plaguing your thoughts with self-doubt only exasperates the problem further. First, make peace with yourself, and shortly thereafter, you will regain your confidence. Your grandma says you're tormenting yourself with your own thoughts of, like, self-doubt within you. And see how the card's yellow? So you need to work on your solar plexus chakra. Okay? Um, it's a little shaky, Aries. So quit dealing with self-doubt, right? And make peace with yourself. It's all about peace. It's all about finding that peace. Once you find peace, then you can find everything else you need, right? Patience, joy, love, all of the above. But you got to find that peace first. And then shortly after that, you'll get your confidence back, okay? So find your peace. Aries, find your peace and stop tormenting yourself. Your grandma's, I could, she's like slapping your hand. She's like, you better cut that out. You better. She's like, like, my hand hurts. <laughs> I could just, she's like one of those no nonsense. She's like, you better snap out of it, boy or girl. Because it could be either one, obviously. Thousands of people are going to watch this, so. And my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this, it's meant for you. Um, but yeah, boy, she is coming through hard. Like, you better snap out of it. Like, she is taking that needle and popping that bubble. 
above your, she's just, she's like, wake up. She's like screaming at me, wake up. And she's like, don't apologize for being in your truth, for your truth, for what you want, for what you need in your life, for what's best for you. She's like, you better not sit there and second guess and apologize for what makes you happy. I can just hear her, man. It, astonished. It's your choice whether to be overwhelmed and bewildered in this situation or to experience it with wonder and as an opportunity for a different future. Okay, so your grandma's like, stop being shell-shocked. <laughs> I just saw someone come up beside someone's head and just, you know, not like hard, not like to hurt them, but like a love pat, you know, like, what are you doing? Stop it, you know? She's like, quit being overwhelmed, quit being bewildered, quit acting like a fool. And instead, look at the beautiful gift that you have in front of you, the gift of life, the gift of love, the gift of whatever this is, Aries. And experience it with wonder as an opportunity for a different future than the one that you have. And she's screaming at you that you can lose this opportunity. I mean, she's like, take action now. That's crazy. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get some secret garden cards because I love these cards. Bloom. Yeah, she says, you know, right where you're planted, you're in exactly the right place at exactly the right time, and this is all meant to come together as it is. Stop stopping the flow. Like, she's like, like, your flower's trying to bloom, Aries, like this, okay? And I'm seeing, she's like showing me that you're going like this. <laughs> you know? Like, if you would just go with the natural way of things, the way you're feeling led to go, that your flower will just, you know, like it's supposed to. But she's showing me that you're going like this. You know, like you don't want to let it just be natural. So she's like, bloom and attract more than just butterflies. <laughs> I love that. That's cool. Anything else for Aries? Anything else for Aries? adapt you will get yourself where you want to be she's like don't worry you're going to be able to adjust she's like it may be a little bit new whatever you're trying to accomplish or or whatever this is that you're like fighting against or you know the flow of things she's like whatever you're striving to do stop striving and just go with the flow and you will get yourself where you're supposed to go. It'll be so much easier if you stop resisting, is what I'm hearing. Retreat. Never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. So she definitely wants you to spend time with God. She wants you to, to get away from everyone and everything. Get out in nature. Um, just you and God, because God will cleanse your energy fields. And you'll be able to think more clearly, I'm hearing. You won't have any distractions or interactions from any other people or thing trying to manipulate your energy. And you also um, will find that peace that you're tormenting yourself with. You're unable to find peace right now, Aries, is what she's saying. She's really coming through strong. She Oh, she just like gave me a hug. She like just wrapped her arms around me and just hugged me. She wants you to know, oh, she loves you. She loves you, Aries. I just saw her like rub the top of somebody's head and kiss it just and hug just pull them into their chest and just you know like rock them and then kiss the top of their head so your grandma just wants you to know there's so much on the other side of this aries just um quit resisting quit torturing yourself number one and quit acting like you're gonna hyperventilate you know like quit shitting a brick and instead, look at this beautiful, wonderful gift that God has set in front of you. And then wildfire, live in an uncontrolled life, free to grow anywhere and bound by nothing. So she's like, um, again, stop trying to control the bloom. Because we have wildflower and we have bloom. 
It's like you are, God is leading you to do something. And she's like, listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. Somebody's grandma used to say that. But she's like, God is leading you to go somewhere and do something. And if you would just do it, it'll be wild and raw and beautiful and exactly everything that it's supposed to be. But instead, you're like this. <laughs> she's like, this is your mind. Okay, and no flower or plant can grow in that environment. <laughs> Not even a person can, okay? So you need to find your peace, get somewhere, retreat, go into nature. Don't worry about everything else. You will adapt. Stand in your truth, okay? And relax, okay? Breathe, I'm hearing. Some of you may need to get a brown paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny anything else for Aries release so you've got baggage grandma says you got past baggage from, from past whatever she's like let that go baby because you are all new now brand new it's a new day it's a new dawn, and I'm feeling good. Some of y'all, your grandma used to listen to Nina Simone. Yeah, she's like, dare to dream big. Dare to do it, Aries. She's like, you won't regret it. She's like, it's going to be the most amazing, beautiful thing that you've ever encountered, and you can lose this opportunity. She's saying, take action now okay and then so that's going to be different for everybody but that's what it's saying and she said create a bond create this bond okay and i just felt my heart just swell and my eyes tear up so she just thinks it's going to be so beautiful for you if you would just create it. She said, you know what she's talking about that I don't have to explain. So again, it's going to be different for everybody, but she's like, they know what, they know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. So I'm, <laughs> so at the bottom of the deck, we have ignite. So like that match, Aries. Like that match. Like, comment, and subscribe if this resonated. And y'all check out my other channels. I have seven other. If you love this one, you're going to love the rest. Bank on it.